Michelle Noel with Luke Perry, Marisol Nichols, Machen Amick, Jenna Elfman, <laughs> I'm Stephen Schneider, Greg Sipes, Annie East Fairweather, Wes Gleason, Rachel Kimsey, and you're watching Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles.com. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.com. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.com. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.com, baby. In association <laughs> with Geek Rock TV. Cowabunga, dude! Yes. Cowabunga, buddy. Cowabunga. <laughs> here's, here's a secret. I, she's not going to like that I'm telling you this. No one would enjoy it more than oh, you? No. Okay, maybe Corey would enjoy it. Because let me tell it. you, the two of us can, yeah. can like slam out a duet. So, Karaoke. Karaoke. And I'm a little bit nervous being around you because you're so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> In association with Geek Rock TV. In association with Geek Rock TV. Geek Rock TV. Geek Rock TV. Okay. It's Geek Rock. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yes. I just need some pizza. On three. On One, three, two, two, three. three. Cow out our exclusive interviews with our special guest stars chatting about their latest projects. So rock your inner geek with Geek Rock TV. Joining me right now is Wes Gleason. He's the voiceover director of Justice League Action that's airing on Cartoon Network. Joining me right now is Rachel, who's the voiceover actress of Justice League Action playing Wonder Woman. Joining me right now is Greg Sipes. I'm here with my girl Machen, who stars in CW's hit series Riverdale. Hey, girl. Hi. Where's the girl? Thank you so much for being here. Joining me right now is former 90210 star Luke Perry. He stars in CW's hit new series, Riverdale. Luke, thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's my pleasure. Oh, thank man, you. I am so excited you're here. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this show, just for our new viewers out there? Yeah, so um, our show is based on the Archie comics with Archie, Betty, Veronica, and Jughead. And it's sort of a modern day, darker, twisted mystery version awesome. of the Archie comics. Imaginary Mary is about a, uh, a career-driven independent woman. That's me. Who falls in love with a Him. handsome um, single dad of three kids. Yeah. And yes, well, I play the voice of Supergirl, okay. and this film is about the intergalactic games. So we've got Superhero High, which is where all of the girls go to school, train to be superheroes. Um, we have... Korgar Academy, which is another superhero high school. So tell us a little bit about Teen Titans and what to expect from the panel and your upcoming episodes this season. Well, you know, with Teen Titans Go, you never know what to expect. Um, we've got a really fun Easter episode coming up where the Tooth Fairy tries to steal the holiday of Easter, oh. and we got to battle the Tooth Fairy, of course. Yeah. Um, but it's an odd situation because you really get to dive into the nuts and bolts of the Easter Bunny. Like, where does the egg come from? Wow. It's like it's the egg or the chicken comes first. I mean, those philosophies, man. It's deep. It's a Teen lot. Go is deep. It's a lot. It's. I mean, sometimes I get PTSD from that show too. It's. It's amazing. But anyways. Okay. Yes, okay. it is Riverdale. Riverdale. Don't expect anything. Anytime you start expecting it, we're gonna go the other way. That is true. I do. Yeah. I do suffer from PTSD every time I watch the show. So uh, I kid you not. That's what we're looking for. Awesome. We want to give you a little PTSD. <laughs> Yeah, I do find smart people very scary, actually. Well, you must be yeah. terrified of me, darling. I am. I am. You're, you're, you give me a lot of PTSDs, just so you know. So, um, so sad to hear about Ninja Turtles ending this season, season you know, yeah, finales. Sad. What can you tell us about what to expect from the upcoming episodes? The finale's done. 
Yes, we did a little changing and had to go back and do some stuff, okay. but the finale is done. And you guys are definitely renewed for next season? That's what I'm told. Okay, oh, well, there's a turtle shell that's kind of considered as my crystal ball, and it's nice. telling me that you guys are renewed, and it's going to forepass the 90210, so you're going to have even more nostalgia Cow with your career. Bunga. And uh, I'm also, I created a show um, that's called Mikey and Mikey. I was on about to ask you that. Yeah. It's a Facebook series called Mikey and Mikey. Me and my buddy um, from Nick, uh, John Zelenek, created the show, and we're doing more of those, hopefully, and the fans are loving that. So, you know, look out for more Mikey and Mikey and watch our, our, the rest of season five. And you never know wh where I'll pop up in the new show. Okay. Yeah, that was my question. So we'll definitely get our closure from that. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. Now, will you be reprising your role? I, all we know is it's going to be set in 2018. It's a 2D version. It's called Rise of Ninja Turtles. What attracted you to about this character, and what do you love about her so much? Um, well, I just thought it would be fun to get to play all these dynamics, you know, falling in love for someone and having a relationship for someone who, like, wants nothing to do with it, and yeah. so she can't help herself. And then the fish-out-of-water aspect that I get to play with his three kids, and then managing this, like, imaginary friend thing. Oh, my God. Yeah, did you not see I, that? I did not see that. Oh, my God. My, uh, my mom... <laughs> Your co-star! My, my mom dressed up for the event today. <laughs> Shit, sorry, that caught me off guard. Okay. A, whole, a whole life-size imaginary Mary just walked in the door. And then managing this like imaginary friend thing. Oh my god! I did not see that. for being here. Such a huge fan of your work. Hello, Mr. West. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about Justice League action. What can we expect from the upcoming season? Oh, wow. There's a The thing that's really cool about this season is um, we got a 52 episode pickup. So you're oh. going to see all of your favorite heroes, all of your favorite villains, and some of the ones that you forgot about or okay. are like great sort of the ones that you're like, oh, right, that guy. Like, I feel so grateful for, you know, having them, you know, to set a precedent of what great directors are and, you know, uh, for me to even be mentioned with those names is flattering, so. This looks like a fun table. It is. Yeah. This is where the party's actually at. Oh, this is the party? <laughs> this is the party table. <laughs> awesome. Um, it's funny because, like you said, there is no mask yet. Yet. Yeah. Mask is coming. Oh, oh here we uh, go. But. I'm a little bit nervous being around you because you're so good. Oh my gosh. Your character is, quite, is like wrestling with quite a few things this season. And I'm not talking about with his best friend, Jerome. I'm talking about his feelings with Selena Kyle. Okay. So are we finally going to see some action between the two? And it's so weird. Like, you know, Wonder Woman is just being so celebrated. Plus, we're on her 75th anniversary yes. special. I mean, have you met Linda Carter? about 80s nostalgia that people just want to go back to? What is it about that era? It was a great era because buddy is also on Sharknado. Any chance of you doing a cameo in that show? Because you know it's going to happen. I wish. I, I, Are have, you serious? I have begged him, and uh, he sort of just keeps, you know, do you giving me the forearm. Boom, boom. No way. Now, do you want to get eaten or um, save lives? Save lives. You want to save lives? Okay. Save lives. I like that. I mean, there's I mean, there's so many ways to go about it, you know, like a TV There is. Up. And who's to say, you know, Riverdale is, could be, could, Riverdale is subject to a Sharknado. That's true. We could have a Sharknado in Riverdale. There you go. There's a crossover right there. Wow. So cool to be in it together. Right you have yeah, no idea. it's great. You know, let's talk about the fake geek girl myth. Have you heard of that theory? What I do mean, you think about those look, haters and trolls. Tabitha and Barbara are being labeled as the new Thelma and Louise. Oh, they are. are? We, do you think we're seeing going that's to that awesome. direction? I do all the work that it takes to make people that don't. Happen. That's why I ask these questions because people don't understand. Like, there's a lot that goes into being a voiceover actor. Like, yeah. I'm seeing like so many doctors, so many speech therapists, and like, why? It's like it. it Connected. Sure. And you know, especially when it's allergy seasons, it's like, oh, I'm <laughs> screwed. That's yeah, okay. Zyrtec is my friend during allergy season. <laughs> lots of lemon water. I might need to talk to you. Your... <laughs> what are some voiceover techniques that you do prior to your recording? How do you keep that voice precious? Well, I like to be healthy, happy, and holy, which means controlling what comes in your nine holes of your body, and there that that will affect what's coming out of your nine holes of your body. You so. definitely inspired me to get into my Zen mode a lot more lately. Let's just put it that way. I'm just letting you, you know. That's just, nice. Of you're you. welcome. Yeah. You're the surfer thing, right? You still do the. I surf. <laughs> I was third in the U.S. And I teach right. meditation and yoga. 
a little bit obsessed with these comic book artists. I mean, don't tell them. I'm a bit of a stalker. So if you see me there, just be, just play it cool. Just be like, no, she's cool, she's cool. She's like, but she's a little bit obsessed with you. But anyways, okay, let's talk about Ninja Turtles. So who's your favorite character? I'm going to have to go with Donatello. Uh, Donatello. Donatello. Probably the same. Okay, see, that's so interesting. I got a thing for nerds too lately. Okay, the one, the one with the sword. The sword. Leonardo! Um, no, 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 not Donatello. Um, I would say probably Michelangelo. Okay, Michelangelo. Michelangelo, okay, not a problem. I am a Michelangelo girl. Okay, not a problem. Um, <laughs> I got a thing for Donatello, okay, but that's okay. Good, sorry. We can still be friends, that's all right. Uh -huh. You're good, Mikey's cool, Mikey, <laughs> me and him, we're tight, we're tight, but just right now I'm going through a Donatello phase. Just don't tell Mikey. It'll, it'll, it'll okay. probably die out. I just have a thing for nerds lately. Who's Raphael. yours? I started out with Raphael because I had a thing for bad boy types even back then. And then it became Michelangelo. Like, yeah, that's the kind of guy I would probably bring someone home to. Yeah. And now Donatello <laughs> is kind of like... There we the, go. There he is. Nerd that I'm just like, you know what? I think I've always been attracted to nerds. I just never came out. And I'm good at that. <laughs> so I'm starting to... I'm going through a Donatello phase. So <laughs> that's awesome. But anyways, um, let's see. what's your favorite pizza? Um, I like jalapenos. jalapenos. Well, can it go, just can it does it have to be just one? No, it could be many. Jalapeno pineapple. What do you think of that? Okay, mm. two is our limit, though. Okay. Um, I'm just black olives and goat cheese. Whoa. Ew. That's like not a... Kalmata, like the normal black. Gotcha. I can't afford that. Pizza topping, black olives, uh, cheese and black olive. Avocado. Okay. Well, I'm lactose intolerant, so vegan cheese. That works. A vegan cheese, sure, like you know, almond cheese, cashew cheese. And it's all about the cheeses. It's all about it's the cheeses. All about the cheese. I mean, I'm a pepperoni and mushroom girl. Okay. What would you like on your pizza topping? Uh, I like a little Canadian bacon, some pineapple. Okay. Yeah, I and like the Hawaiian style. Do you like the slogan, cowabunga or turtle power? Turtle power. Cowabunga. 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 Cowabunga, dude. I'm a California girl. I go cowabunga all the way. I, I hear you. Okay, and I can't believe I'm going to ask you this, but I've been asking everybody. Your favorite slogan, Booyakasha, Turtle Power, and Cowabunga. Just say it. Booyakasha! Thank you so much, Wes, for being here this evening. If you'd like to catch Justice League action, it will be on Cartoon Network. You can catch Jenna Elfman and Steven Schneider on ABC New Hit Series, Imagine Your Be sure to catch him at Tea Time Go. Justice League's action, it will be on Cartoon Network. You can watch Luke Perry on CW Hit Series, River Thank you so much, Rachel, for joining us this evening. Look forward to checking you out the cons, the TV, and future panels and cons as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Can we close out with Cowabunga? Cowabunga! Cowabunga! Cowabunga, dude! for joining us and hopefully we'll see you at future cons and TV and panels and of course your name on the credits. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us here guys from WonderCon Anaheim or Anaheim WonderCon 2017. If you're new be sure to like, follow, subscribe to do more videos like these. Rock your inner geek with Geek Rock TV. Bye guys! Bonga, dude.